Wogwan Brethren. It's me, Andy, back with another COVID drum challenge. Now, anyone that knows me knows I love weird rhythms, odd time signatures, and I love improvising. To quote the late great Frank Zappa, the way I see it is you have a piece of time and you get to decorate it. I see a lot of these musicians go out every night and they play the same solo every night, the one that they played on the record, and I just gotta say, isn't that something like punching a clock? I'm willing to take the risk that I might mess up in order to give an audience a unique and special experience. <laughs> now, uh, I agree with that. I'm, I think I'm getting that right, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but the, the spirit of it is there. Now, when it comes to our time signatures, you know, a lot of you might use them in your little band. But, uh, what, what is the, the true metric of how well you can play in an odd time signature? Well, for me, the answer to that is how freely can you play in them? Can you do fills in them comfortably? Can you improvise in them? Can, do you have to count? If you do, there's probably room for some improvement there. Uh, if you if you want to get started on if you if you're not very familiar with our time signatures, a good place to start would be Dave Brubeck's Take Five. It's in the lively sort of five four five, slash five eight sort of thing. Do 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 do. Or, uh, or perhaps Un Square Dance, also by Dave Brubeck, which is in 7 8. Both sort of entry level, odd time signature studies, and the way it's played, the way the rhythm's phrased, make it just really nice and easy on the ear. Um, we're going to be doing that today. We're going to be doing something a little bit more advanced. We're going to be doing a section from a song called Moon Babies by a band called Planet X. Now, if you haven't heard of Planet X, it was the great Virgil Donati's band back in the early 2000s. Derek Sherinian was also in the band. He was a big part of the band. He ended up in Dream Theater for a bit. And when it comes to the technical stuff, there is just no one that can match them. They're so techy. The music just it's flat out sounds like nonsense sometimes, but not in a noise rock sort of way. It's just very, very technical. We're going to be taking a little bit of Moon Babies. Now, this is in 1116. And the way they do it is they break it up into two different iterations and put them next to one another. Now, what I mean by an iteration is you take a number like 11, if you take a time signature like 1116, you do not want to be trying to count that. One did people find it as 11, one did people find it as It's just impossible. And you're not going to be able to play and do that at the same time. What you want to do is break it down to its constituent elements. And this is a good study in that because they, they show you, they showcase two different iterations of it. The first one, four, four, and three, which sounds like this. I'll play it slowly. And then the next one is three, 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 two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. put it all together, it sounds pretty wild. Okay, it's pretty cool. I think it sounds pretty cool. Now, how do we fit fills and improv into all this. Well, it's pretty pretty tough. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to show a couple of different ways you can break this down. And you can start to put some more contrived fills in and then hopefully after a while you'll start to just feel the rhythm of it, which is this is how we get good at playing odd time signatures. You stop, you stop seeing it as some awkward jerky rhythm and you can feel how it grooves and it just gets in there into your internal clock and you can improvise over it. So let's take a, let's, let's contrive a fill for starters. Okay, well what's another way we can add up to 11? 4, 3, and 4? 
So this is four, this is three, and this is four. So that's a fill, doesn't sound too bad, although it is contrived when you throw it in, it sounds just off the cuff. Do the same film twice, or they realize you've sat there and worked it out. But that's just an example. You can do four, four, three. Yeah. Or you can you, you can take that uh, three, three, two. Do it with hurtus. Have the threes as hurtus. down in all these different sorts of ways. That's another three, 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 two. Now, I don't want to tell you all these contrived fills. The point is to make up your own and see if you can throw them in. And it'll just make your playing flow together a little better. It will make it sound like you you know what you're doing, even if you don't, yet. And it just makes it a more interesting and dynamic experience for the listener. So, I'm going to show you a few tricks. I'm just going to play play with this around and hopefully we'll go into a bit of solo in and we'll see what's possible. Okay. Can you do it better than me? Probably. Let's fucking hear it. <laughs> 